Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf at TPC Twin Cities on the 14th hole, joined today by Emma Carpenter. Uh, if you've been following the channel, you're familiar with her. Also, if you follow University of Minnesota Women's Golf, you're also familiar with Emma. And today we're doing the club swap challenge. So <laughs> I'm gonna be using her clubs and Emma's gonna be using my clubs. We're gonna take on the very intimidating 14th hole here at TPC Twin Cities. I'm this is intimidating with my own clubs, Emma, so I'm a little scared of what's about to happen. I, I would agree, Drew. This is an important tee shot for sure. You gotta be smart with it. So um, yeah, I'm excited to see how this is gonna go. It's definitely gonna show how uh, how getting fit for clubs yes. is important, although I am still gonna try to try to beat you in this one whole yeah. match with your own clubs. I would take you if I was a betting person, <laughs> but I guess we'll see how it goes. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. You might put my clubs, we'll see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, who's gonna tee off first? Here we go. That's you. It's me. That's you. It's me, okay. Drew. So you've got my driver. Yep. So this is, I'll, I'll explain my driver setup a little bit. So you, it's a Sim 2, uh, the Project X Hazardous Black 6.5, so extra stiff shaft, and then I have it at eight degrees aloft. So um, that is my hit it as far as possible club. And then I also have a kind of a jumbo size grip on there. So yeah, I like the I like the big grip actually. I've got mid size grips on my clubs as well. Yeah. It's a little worn though, Drew. Yeah, you need a is. new one on yeah, here. Yeah, it's it, it does the job kind of. So <laughs> it's good. Alrighty. I'm uh, curious, so like, okay, so here's, we got this. Uh, it's definitely got, heavier than mine. Yeah, it's gonna play a little different than your driver. So that's why that, that's why this, this whole <laughs> video is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Where are you gonna aim then? Well, I like that we're downwind. I'm getting aggressive with the choice of hitting driver. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try, since it's, you know, it's like a little heavier, a little stiffer, I think that I'll be okay trying to work a little bit more of a draw because yeah. it's definitely easier to hit fades when it's a heavier, stiffer shaft. Yeah. So I'm gonna go kind of right at that left edge of the bunker okay. and then hopefully draw it off of it. Um, if it goes in the bunker, it goes in the bunker and I'll hit my fairway bunker shot, but um, I'm, I'm gonna try to draw it off okay. of that bunker actually. All right. Oh no. Oh, that better sit down. Sit. Oh, it's bouncing. I think you're fine. I think so. <laughs> I saw it you land. Along the path there. I should have tried harder to hit a draw. That like that totally cut on me. I actually kind of liked it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's... <laughs> it didn't feel bad. So the nice thing for me is actually you you have the G425 LST three wood. Um, I also have this three wood. Yeah, so he's that, getting strategic that, on now. Us. The he's shaft is strategic. a little different, but I mean. 75S versus mine, it's pretty similar. So That's hopefully. a standard shaft it comes in. So actually that's probably the heaviest and now, stiffest is, shaft of club in my bag. So that's perfect for you. This is a little shorter than mine, but. Going at the bunker, I'm hoping I'm, this is a little short of it. Uh oh. <laughs> Sit down. All right, that's a, this is just a touch right. Where did it go? Oh, like right are you safe? Are you safe? I think, maybe. All right, we gotta go check it out. <laughs> okay. Just chopping out here. I grabbed Emma's 54 degree wedge. Went a little bit right, so I have to just chop out here. Ideally not in more trouble. All right, Drew, smart play. I think we're out, right? Pick left. Yeah, good Both play. Both back in the fairway. Yeah. Smart guy, smart guy. Very intrigued by you hitting my irons here too. <laughs> it's a scary one. At least the wind's coming off the left. Yeah, so. okay. All right, Drew, so I've got 198 to the flag from here. Luckily, I didn't go too far yeah. through in here because that was a yeah. little bit of a high slice, but and it's about a 160 cover on the water. The wind's down off the left. So I've got I-500 and I-210 irons. They have, they're also a half inch longer than normal. Perfect. And uh, <laughs> also extra stiff, Project X LZ 6.5 shaft. So, so something I would never use. Yeah, so uh, good luck. Thanks, Drew. So yeah. how Depending far, on which iron how you far hit, does yeah. your seven iron normally go? About 180, carry. Okay, well, I obviously don't hit it quite as far as you, but That's I my do think it's gonna number, run out. So. I think I'm gonna hit a seven or a six or 198. That's, huh. I'm very, that's 
funny that that's the okay. question because those are two separate iron models in my bag. I have a seven iron that's one model and a six because it transitions in a combo set. Are right you joking? There. I'm not. I mean, look. <laughs> I'm not. You, you got, got seven irons I-210, the six iron is I-500. Well, which so. one's easier to hit, Drew? You know, the, the I-500 is probably a little more forgiving, but it's going to go, it's like lower spinning, so. And I'm coming out of the rough. Yeah. I'm going to try to get your seven iron there. Tell you what, if you this on the green, that'd be very impressive. I'm going to try Honestly, to get your seven iron anywhere near the green's there. a good shot. Well, you're also laid up, so I don't need to get like That's insanely true. aggressive. true, you don't have to be that aggressive, yeah. But I am, I'm going to try to get your seven iron there. Just right. because I feel like six is a little tougher to hit. It might run off the back, so seven iron it is. Oh, oh my goodness. That flew out of oh there. Oh my gosh. I think you're on. <laughs> Are you on? <laughs> Can I have this? There's no way. Drew, did you see how yeah, high that was? Yeah, you're putting. That, that was <laughs> launched. It went right over that bunker. Oh my word. That was perfect. Man, that's right. kind of nice. I already lost. All right. So, I kind of grab your 60. Actually, I don't even know how far this is. Like 80 you, want me to, you want me to shoot it for you, Drew? Yeah, kind of, because okay. I don't think my rangefinder is actually with me. It's fine. I'm guessing 87. Now, that could be right. I'm going to go 91, actually, looking at it. 91 to the pin. That's pretty pretty good. I'm going to go 94. 91, 94, 87. 91. Was that, what was your guess? 91. I don't need a range finder. Big golf guy. Wow. I don't need a range finder. So <laughs> third shot. What, do you, up, what club do you have? Sit up nice. I got your 60. Okay. So, and that, my thought too is like, if I like miss hit it or don't quite catch it perfect, I'm still probably putting because it's pins back. I just don't want to go too far. Okay. Cause problems. So, okay, I'll, uh, let's see here. I'm in just want to give myself a chance at par, right? Because <laughs> I know you're in really good shape. So. Uh oh. Go. Hold on. Oh. That might have been. Are you kidding me? Go in. I can't tell how close that is, but. That you was. See, that's how you draw it up. That was not from my golf club. <laughs> that was not no, that was... produced from the club. But hey, hey, good play. Yeah, Good yeah. play, good work. That's how you draw it up. Have fun with that. Huh. How long have you had this? Two years now. Okay. What do you like about it? Um, so, in my mind, I want as much forgiveness in a putter as possible. I've heard Larry talk about MOI all the time. Mm -hmm. And that thing has more MOI than anything else out there. So um, yeah, that's why I have it. It's very different from it's, mine. It's very, very different. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't get more different than, than that's this. That's OK. So. Hey, Drew, check this out. Oh, wow. So you have it. Oh, my gosh. OK, we got to get that on camera. We got to <laughs> yeah. get that. OK, so yeah, show. Show the camera. We got the, the stampings in here. Carp bomb. And then you can flip it. And we got the, yeah. Shout out Michael at TPC, yes. golf specs. All right, so my good friend Drew here played it yeah. off this hill. It was a great swing though. I think all the people need to know is the ball ended up right here. Right, right. The wind, know. the swing was great. Wind took it a little bit this way. Played it right off that yeah. slope, just like how he drew it up. Yeah, sure. And ended up yeah. here. He's got this buffer well, four. Well, you just hit a seven iron from 200 yards to about 25 feet away. <laughs> well, it, it was um, lucky that it was a good lie, so then yeah, I just could get aggressive. It in the sky. Okay, you wanted the flag out? Um, I'm gonna have the flag out. Okay. You know, I think the toughest thing about using somebody else's putter is the speed. Yeah, you're not. So, <laughs> you have no. You haven't tested them or anything, so. <laughs> You're you're definitely at an advantage yes. here. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> we haven't done any putting. No, no like practice not one putting bit. or anything. This is, so this is cold. This putter is actually, I mean, it's actually cold because it's been in the bag. Yep. It's probably not cold when it's ping, in your hands. The but. ping hardwood, about the biggest mallet you can find. Heavy. I mean, I do like heavy putters, but all right. I mean, if she makes this, I don't know. I mean, might be the best birdie of all time. 
I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> this head is huge, Drew. <laughs> this club head is so, this putter face is so big. It was good. a good read, good. but it's soft off the face. I didn't know I, it would be. I can be generous and, and give that one to you. Oh, we're not giving putts. I'm just saying, if you wanted it, it's there for the taking. <laughs> that's a pretty darn good earned par for me, given what we're dealing with here. All right, this is huge, Drew. Yeah, this is, uh, should go a little to my left, I think. The putter's a lot shorter than the one I used. I pulled it oh. and I hammered oh. it. <laughs> you trying to take the break out of it? No, well, I wasn't. That's I mean, the that makes sense. I left yours short and you okay, hit mine okay. by. This is why putter fitting is important. I believe you're still away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I certainly am. Grinding for bogey now. <laughs> this is going well. Can I get this one in? Yeah, that one's good. That one's good. Pick it up. There we go. The Smooth bombs double. on that putter didn't work as oh, well I, for you. I, yeah, this is, I, yeah. You can knock yours in. So I have to, I have to get it in from, for, I have to get it in in two from here. Yeah, yeah. You, for the win. Just cozy it up there for your win. Like it, like it nice. I'm not used to like holding it, like seeing this as I set it down. All right. You legged it up fine. Perfect. This is that what happens when you don't putt so at all. That felt so bad. I <laughs> First one here. Yeah. You just make it the second time every time. Why didn't you do that the first time? But, hey. Yeah, let me try again on this two-footer. Yeah, we'll just take it I, I didn't, I felt nervous over it. It was like a foreign feeling staring down at this putter face. <laughs> it is very different. <laughs> well, hey, you won. You won the Swap Clubs Challenge. 14th hole at TPC. I think it's fair to say if we both had our own, at least putters, we probably would have made, Could have put on a, better made a shot less than we did. But <laughs> hey, the 14th hole at TPC uh, is a fun challenge. Well, at the 3M Open this year, I'm sure golfers will be, you know, taking a similar challenge as we did here today. So, uh, but congratulations on the win. Thanks, Drew. If you, The next time you play, if you're missing your seven iron, uh, you, yeah. you know where it is. Yeah. It's in my bag. <laughs> <laughs>